Several dozens of those trees fell throughout this afternoon storm. This was one of them. The owners say this tree was easily 40 to 50 feet tall and it fell in just a few seconds. This was part of a microburst that blew through the area around 3 o'clock this afternoon, and brought hail and high winds and was gone, neighbors say, in less than five minutes. <laughs> Chainsaws revved into action with city crews trying to make quick cleanup work of a decades old tree that fell in the force of an afternoon storm. Before the swift microburst that blew through Beverly, captured in part on a neighborhood ring camera, this pile of tree had towered above a family's Centurion Corner House at 106th and Campbell. The home's last source of shade shattered a side window and tore off terracotta tiles as it toppled over. Headed home from an afternoon errand, Ralph Athey saw and felt the storm from the underside of a tree. The tree fell on me. I was just driving down the street and wonk. Just a stone's throw from his home, Athey says an old ash tree collapsed onto his car. There it was in my front seat. The airbags went off. 80-year-old Athey stepped out and walked the rest of the way home, seemingly unfazed with just this cut on his arm. I remember nothing of this happening. But his wife and the neighbors who'd watched the tree crush his car were left a little more aghast. She said, as soon as I saw that he wasn't dead, I thought to myself, thank God. It is remarkable that he walked away from that with just a cut on his arm. The alderman who represents this far southwest side ward said there were about 30 different tree incidents that happened across the area. This was one of them. They're now still working to get all of those cleaned up, and that will likely take a few days. But as you can see, the electricity is on. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.